Hello and welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we're diving into something truly exciting, China's most iconic mega projects of 2023. China is going big, investing trillions in massive projects that stretch across Asia and beyond. But what's driving these incredible endeavors? That's what we're here to find out. Get ready to discover the stories behind these colossal creations, from the motivations that sparked them to the mind-boggling speed at which they're being built. We're on a journey to uncover the secrets of China's rise to global prominence through these jaw-dropping projects. It's not just about construction. It's about China's journey into becoming a world leader. So buckle up for an adventure that promises surprises, insights, and a glimpse into the future like never before. Stay tuned as we unravel the incredible reality of China's luxurious mega-projects, right here, right now. Chengdu Chengpu International Airport Hold on to your hats because we're diving into the incredible world of Chengdu down through International Airport. This aviation marvel is smack dab in the heart of Chengdu, China's capital city. Imagine this. It's like a shiny new gem, the region's second international airport, and it cost a jaw-dropping $10 billion. Talk about putting your money where your runway is. In just six years, this baby went from blueprint to reality, officially opening its doors in June 2021. Now, it's not just a fancy building. It's a crucial route to Western China. And let's talk features. Three runways are like the airport's heartbeat, keeping things moving. And those two terminals? They're shaped like the mythical sunbird. It's like stepping into a legend. With the power to handle up to 60 million travelers and 20,000 tons of cargo every year, this place is like a city in the sky. Hold on to your hat. The airport's got a footprint of 7.6 million square feet, 700,000 square meters. But guess what? They're not stopping here. The goal is to become China's third biggest airport hub. That means more runways, more terminals, more everything. But it's not just about the airport. It's about connections. Picture this. It's hooked up to rail networks, the subway, and even a personal rapid transport system. It's all about making your journey as smooth as possible. And here's the kicker. It's not just a transit spot. This place is buzzing with action. With 1,500 dorms for personnel, a sprawling 30,000-square-foot lounge, and a ton of operations, it's more than an airport. It's a whole ecosystem. So whether you're a traveler or just someone who loves progress, Chengdu down through International Airport is a must-see. It's not just about flying. It's about how China's dedicated to linking people, boosting growth, and rewriting the story of traditional airports. Get ready to be amazed by the crown jewel of the Shanghai skyline, the Shanghai Tower. Imagine this, a mind-boggling 2,073 feet, 632 meters high, costing a whopping $4.2 billion. When it was finished in 2015, it proudly stood as China's tallest and the world's third tallest building. But it's not just about height. This tower is a symbol of China's economic might. Its twisty, spiral design is made from stacking nine giant cylinders on top of each other, creating a whopping 138 stories of awesomeness. What's really cool? The outside isn't just glass. It's like a superhero shield. Imagine clear glass on the outside and super strong, hole-covered metal on the inside. This dynamic duo keeps the inside cozy and controls how much sunlight sneaks in, all while saving energy like a champ. Speaking of energy, the Shanghai Tower isn't just tall, it's green, too. It's a champ at using less energy, which means it's kinder to our planet. It even got a super-fancy platinum certification for being top-notch in energy and eco-friendliness. Step inside, and you're in for a treat. It's not just an office building. It's a whole world inside. Picture this, shopping, entertainment, and business all mixed up like a gigantic urban playground. And guess what? If you're feeling daring, zoom up to the tippity-top. The view from the observation deck is out of this world. And getting there is a thrill, too. Imagine elevators racing up at speeds that make your heart skip a beat. So, 
Whether you're into cool designs, mind-blowing heights, or just good old fun, the Shanghai Tower has it all. It's not just a building. It's a glimpse into the future of architecture and a reminder that sky's the limit when it comes to human imagination. Chinchan Nuclear Power Plant China's growth over the past 30 years has been off the charts. But with growth comes a massive demand for electricity, and here's the twist. China mostly uses fossil fuels for power. That's where alternatives come in, and they've got a pretty price tag, starting at $3.3 billion. Get this. Back in 1990, China fired up its first homegrown nuclear power plant in Junk Province. And guess what? It's not just one plant. They've expanded it to have lots of parts using different kinds of reactors. Think pressurized water reactors, heavy water reactors, and super-advanced pressurized water reactors. Why all the different types? Because China's all about adaptability. They can't just copy-paste. They've got to make it their own. But here's the catch. Replicating what they've got now would cost way more than the initial price tag. Today, this power plant is like a small city, stretching over four square miles, 10.2 square kilometers. And its job? Pumping out a massive 400 megawatts of electricity. That's a big deal. The plan doesn't stop here. China's on a mission to keep upgrading this power plant and learn from building new ones around the country. Why? To make sure they've got enough energy for the next 50 years or so. This isn't just about having more power. It's about making a greener choice. China's aiming to cut down on those carbon-emitting options and use clean energy to battle climate change. So whether you're a tech enthusiast or just someone who cares about the planet, China's nuclear power journey is one to watch. It's not just about electricity. It's about building a future that's bright and clean. Hangzhou Bay Bridge Get ready for a bridge that's like no other, the Bay Bridge. It's like a super long road that connects two awesome places, Shanghai and Ningbo in China. Picture this, a 22.2-mile, 35.7-kilometer bridge that cuts travel time in half. But it's not just about distance. This bridge is special because it can handle tough challenges like storms and earthquakes. How did they do it? They used super strong steel piles instead of regular columns. And the design? It's called cable stayed, which means it's really, really strong. But building it wasn't easy. Imagine working with big waves and unpredictable weather. That's some serious hard work. Now here's the cool part. This bridge isn't just about driving. It's a lifeline for the city, with six lanes making travel smoother. And guess what's in the middle? An island called the Oriental Bright Pearl. There's food, fun, and even a spot where you can look out and see the whole harbor and the bridge stretching away. So, whether you're into exploring or just love cool things, the Bay Bridge is a must-see. It's not just a bridge, it's a triumph of humans taking on nature's challenges. Jondro East Railway Station China's turbocharged its train system with massive investments in high-speed rails, and one hub that's stealing the spotlight is the Jondro Eastern Railway Station. Nestled in the vibrant city of John Henan Province, it's become a major player in recent years. Imagine this, a colossal Asian transport haven covering a whopping 3.2 million square feet, 300,000 square meters. It's like a bustling city within a city. This hub is a key stop on the Beijing to go on show and you how to launch high-speed rail lines. That's quite a mouthful, but it's a big deal. Back in 2012, it opened its doors for the first time, and boy, did it make a splash. 14 platforms, 26 tracks. It's a dance of trains. But that's not even the best part. This place is like a glimpse into the future. Imagine sleek glass and steel soaring above you, futuristic lighting that's smarter than ever, and ticket machines that just make sense. The whole station cost a mind-blowing $28 billion, but it's worth every penny. But wait, there's more. It's not just about looking fancy. This hub is designed for you. 
Imagine a space where arriving and departing passengers flow seamlessly, with a central hall that's a hub of activity. It's not just a train station, it's a living, breathing example of 21st century transportation. From the moment you step in, you're in for a journey that's all about speed, convenience, and a touch of the future. So whether you're a traveler, a tech enthusiast, or just someone who loves amazing places, the Jondro Eastern Railway Station is where it's at. It's not just a station. It's a gateway to a whole new way of getting around. Yanku Dam. Get ready for a groundbreaking feat. Imagine the massive Tibetan plateau, often called the roof of the world, due to its towering height, being the stage for something truly colossal. Here's the scoop. They're working on the world's biggest structure that's entirely built without human hands. This incredible project, which kicked off in December 2021, aims to create the Yangku Dam, towering a whopping 180 meters, 590 feet, all thanks to 3D printing and super smart AI technologies. Now, get this. They've got robotic bulldozers, trucks, excavators, and pavers doing all the heavy lifting. This means fewer worries about safety issues and human errors. Who's behind this epic adventure? Upper Yellow River Hydropower Development Company, State Power Investment Corporation, Gansu Electric Power Investment Group, and Shanxi Hydropower Development Company are all teaming up to make this engineering marvel a reality. And guess what? This dam isn't just a jaw-dropping sight. It's got a purpose. It's hanging out on the Yellow River and brings hydroelectric power to about 100 million folks in Henan province. So, whether you're a tech enthusiast or just someone who loves mind-bending projects, this is one for the books. It's not just about a dam, it's about pushing the boundaries of what's possible and creating something monumental without even touching a brick. Get ready to discover the ultimate travel hub, the Shanghai Anqiao Integrated Hub. Imagine a place where planes, fast trains, metros, and buses all come together. And guess what? It's right in the heart of central Shanghai, making travel super easy. This awesome hub cost $1.2 billion and opened a while back for the World Expo. Since then, it's been the go-to spot for getting around in the city. Picture this. You step off your plane at Shanghai on Chao International Airport. It's a pretty big deal, ranking fourth busiest in China. And guess where this hub is? Right at the center. But that's not all. Right next door is the Shanghai On Trial Railway Station. Convenience level, maximum. And here's the cool part. While you're hanging out, waiting for your next adventure, there's shopping and fun stuff to do. It's not just a transportation hub, it's a whole mini city in itself. People love it so much that it's like a famous destination. But here's the kicker. It's not just a hit in Shanghai. Other cities around the world are taking notes from this hub's success story. It's like the superstar example for making travel better everywhere. So, whether you're a traveler, an adventurer, or just someone who likes cool places, the Shanghai On Chow Integrated Hub is where the magic happens. It's not just about moving around, it's about a whole new way of connecting, and the world is watching and learning from this awesome idea. Quancho International Airport. Fasten your seatbelts because we're diving into the incredible story of Quancho International Airport. Back in 2004, Quancho had a big idea. They bought an international airport in Guangzhou. Hold on to your hat because this place is a whirlwind of activity. Quancho is one of the busiest airports on the planet, juggling passenger and freight planes like it's no big deal. Get this. It cost a whopping $3.7 billion to put together in its first go. But that's not the end of the story. It's been growing ever since. They've pumped in more expansions to make it even grander. The numbers are staggering. In theory, it can handle 80 million passengers and a jaw-dropping 2.5 million tons of cargo every year. That's a lot of people and stuff. But hey, they're working on it, especially with the recent roller coaster in the airline world. Here's the cool part. It's not just busy. It's record-breakingly busy. It's China's busiest airport, and one of the world's busiest, too. There are only a few airports in the United States that handle more action. Now picture this. Quancho has two terminals, and the second one is shiny and new, opening up recently. It's a massive space with almost 8 million square feet, 800,000 square meters of floor space. 
Airlines from all over the place land here, more than 100 destinations in total. But guess what? This airport's not done growing. They've got big plans with three terminals, five runways, a satellite concourse, and even a high-speed rail station on the horizon. That's some serious expansion right there. So, whether you're a travel enthusiast or just someone who loves big numbers, Quancho International Airport is a star. It's not just a place to catch a flight. It's a hub of energy and activity, taking people and things all around the world. Beijing South Railway Station Let's talk about big bucks. We're talking three and a half billion dollars. Imagine this. The Beijing South Railway Station, also known as Beijing Non, is a super important hub in Asia. It's right in the heart of Beijing, the capital of China. Here's the deal. There was a station here since 1987, but in 2006, they tore it down and built something new and amazing. This new station, sitting pretty on 79 acres of land, opened in 2008. And guess what? It's in the thin air of the Tide District. The numbers are wild. 4,000 people worked day and night to build it. They used over 60,000 tons of steel and more concrete than you can imagine. 17 million cubic feet of it. But the real star is the roof. It's like a giant glass umbrella, one of the biggest in the world, covering 3 million square feet, 320,000 square meters. And guess what? There are 320 solar panels up there, soaking up sunshine to power the place below. Inside, it's a whole world of speed. There are 24 platforms, and they run super-fast trains, like the Beijing-Tianjin Intercity Railway and the Beijing-Shanghai High-Speed Railway. It's like a train paradise serving a whopping 30,000 passengers every single hour. That's like 241 million people every year. Imagine this. A waiting room that's 2 million square feet, 250,000 square meters, big. That's as big as a small city. But this isn't just about size. It's about being smart. There's an underground arrivals hall, links to the city's metro and buses. It's like a perfect picture of how smart design can make a whole city's transportation awesome. So, whether you're a train fan, a traveler, or just someone who loves cool places, the Beijing South Railway Station is where it's at. It's not just a station. It's a statement about making travel fast, efficient, and oh so cool. Beijing Capital International Airport Terminal Get ready to be blown away by the Beijing Capital International Airport's epic makeover. It's like they cranked it up to 11 all for $3.8 billion. Imagine this. It was all set and shiny in time for the 2008 Summer Olympics. And when we say shiny, we mean it. The new third terminal is the second largest in the world. Picture seven floors of awesomeness with 66 jetways and 120 gates. And guess what? It's not just one big space. It's divided into three main parts, each with its own fancy name. Wait, it gets better. They've thought of everything. The terminal is like a giant puzzle, making sure you find your gate in a snap. Oh, and hold on to your hat. Their luggage transfer system can handle a whopping 19,000 pieces of baggage per hour. That's super speedy, and you usually get your bags within just five minutes of landing. Now let's talk design. They brought in the big guns British architect Norman Foster. He mixed ancient Chinese vibes with super futuristic stuff. Picture this. The roof looks like dragon's backs, paying homage to Chinese culture. Inside, it's all sleek lines, open spaces, and lots of natural light. But it's not just about getting from A to B. This place is like a mini city. You can work out, swim, and even soak in art galleries, all to kill time before your flight. Oh, and here's a twist. The terminal's about three miles, five kilometers, from the other airport terminals. But no worries. They've got a high-speed rail line to zip you around. This isn't just a terminal. It's like a gate to the world. From Beijing to the globe, this place is all about making travel easier, fancier, and a whole lot more exciting. Will China keep up with its jaw-dropping mega-projects? Or will it eventually hit the brakes? Share your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for joining us on this awesome ride as we explored China's 2023 mega projects. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more exciting stuff.